Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Vagris the Riven Realms. If you're new here, because of the Sunfire and Moonshadow update, the video I did, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. <laughs> um, uh, we are picking up right where, where the preview video I did of the new expansion called Sunfire and Moonshadow uh, left off. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. You'll know much more about what is going on. <laughs> the biggest thing is we have the Astrolabe here now, which allows us to charge itself up over 60 days. Apparently you can get other people to charge it for you, or at least that's what an NPC implied. So if we're like in an emergency, maybe we'll look around for that, but otherwise it'll just charge itself on its own. Then, once it's charged, we can come back to the crossroads here and we will teleport ourselves to places elsewhere. But we just came back after after doing the, the tutorial. Oh dang, we lost some, some labor somewhere? Is it because we're tired? It kind of looks like it because we're tired. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice a little morale and obedience to get a little more vigor back. End the day. And then we're going to book it back to Torzeg Shelter here. My plan for the day while we're waiting for the Astrolabe to, to charge back up so we can explore some more of the expansion is we're going to run over here and try to deal with Nadir's problem with the Nosferatis and then we're going to hunt down the last abolitionist tribe. Probably not at the same time, because the last time we fought an abolitionist group, we got absolutely crapped on, but somehow managed to win. It was very close, but it's it's going to be a rough one. Gorgoro is mad, as always. I Hey, now, if you go back and watch that video that I did, you'll know that... I accidentally gained loyalty with him and Elani while pissing everybody else off, so... I don't know what you want from me, man. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna force march our way into Torzags here. It's gonna be a little rough for our stats, but it's important to get in here so we can recover our labor... ...that we're missing out on, because it's, it's slowly bleeding the rest of our stats off here. All right, now our plan for the day is I think I want to try the Arkin Lumen triangle thing, but then once we hit Lumen, we'll just sneak our way through the mountains here, like we did when we were taking Kandake to Leviathan's Demise, and then we'll try and body the Nosferatis uh, or, or the Abolitionists. Probably this one first, since I assume that one will be closest to here, but it also seems like it might be the hardest one to find, so... Well, we'll see how that goes. I bought one supply. <laughs> I've forgotten how this game works. We're gonna fill out the full row. What do we got here? Defend? The Hanjari are a new uh, faction that was added with the expansion as well. They're like, they're like vassals of the Emperor, I think, is how I remember it was described. So if you're wondering who the heck that is, that who, that's who the heck that is. I don't see any missions to go to Arnak, Arnak, uh, Ar Arkin here. I saw one for Lumen. He's right here. Distribute for the Loader's Guild. 14-8, Mushroom Beer and Pottery. All right, we'll take it with us, and then we'll do our own little, little costing mission here. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit, it's a little loud for me. Um. We're gonna do our own little little cost analysis here. It's usually pottery, and I think linen as well. Yes, you can do linen. Mushrooms is like an option. Mushroom beer is okay. And then pottery. Pottery, linen, and mushroom beer are the ones that you should do if you're, if you're just doing your own trading. I'm generally a believer that you should stick to the faction missions wherever possible. 
This is also something that I have not made use of, by the way. I wanted to show this off on video because I was just poking around and I noticed this. Once you get a certain amount of rep from different factions, you should come in here to the rewards section and see what, what's available here. So we should just claim go easy on them because it generates obedience with a 10% chance. And that's just how it is. We should claim these good quality tools. I don't even know if we have good quality tools equipped. Although they don't appear to be in my inventory either. I don't know where that went. Uh, but we should, you should just go through and get all the stuff here. So we have like collegium bands, 5% to your workforce. Stash, great. We're always hauling people's stuff around. Odd jobs, base chances up. More storage? This is fantastic. Yeah, so we're just gonna take all of these things, assail the competition. Man, I've been like missing out <laughs> on all this stuff. Access to arcane knowledge, small energy crystal. All right, cool. So, so definitely keep an eye as your rep goes up with different factions. You should come in to the reward section and get those bonuses. They're they're just useful. There's nothing. There's no downside as far as I can tell. Uh, our workforce did go back up, but I'm gonna grab another slave here just for insurance purposes. Arkin. Okay. So, well, that's not really worth it. One, getting paid one silver to go up there for no other reason. Instead, we'll, we're going to just make our own way here. Keep an eye on the price. Basically, I, t I like to buy things until the price changes. Yeah, 3.9 is still acceptable, but I should also... I think Gorgoro will be up for an oil present. What a weird thing to say. Uh, in the near future. So I will spend an inventory just to grab one of those. Let's see here. Linen. I think the price of linen is going to change pretty quick here. Or three. Yeah, we'll we'll just fill up on pottery and linen here. Three nines not terrible either. Alright, and we will rest in the Manzio. Get some sleep. Uh yeah, let's recover vigor because we can recover obedience and morale with our uh, the amount of guards that we have. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's get the last of the supplies here. I noticed that in the last update, they changed what the supplies in Torzags cost. It generally cost two, but now it's all all one. So that's fit. That's that's good. I honestly thought it was a little confusing to have cities where supplies were cheap and then cities where supplies weren't cheap. Um, I think it makes sense to me that big cities would always have the cheapest supplies, as well as some specific territories because they produce a lot of food in the lore at, at least but that's just my two cents all right out we go to lumen it is i think by the time we get round the mountains and down to fight the nasaratis will be all of our companions should have healed to full or close to full are you kidding me do I even have enough to buy them off? I give them an exquisite weapon. Oh, they just want simple jewelry? These people are... I figured out a trick. <laughs> One, two, take that away. I don't know why that's that's definitely a bug. Uh, but if, if it's a, a bug, and uh, it don't... Oh, some guys got killed. That's, you know, oops. Was only partially appeased. Uh, do we want to give our guys time? I guess so. Yeah, okay. Our guys got smacked around a little bit and they took two... Okay, never mind. <laughs> they took all of our shit. Oh, how dare you? Okay, so so the bug wasn't that we were actually getting away with it. The bug was that it was actually a 20% chance. And then they were going to rob us as well. Uh, what are we down? We're down to three days worth of supplies. I think we can still get to Lumen. Uh, we'll have to go to, like, low nutrition here for a sec. Well, that was rough. 
you live and learn. Alright, sitting on 50% here. Alright. We got two days still. This is this is fantastic. So we can rest here with normal nutrition. I need to up my, my guard game. Multiple people have told me this. And uh, it's becoming very... They took so much of our stuff. Actually, you know, they... T oh, they took our mushroom beer. They're gonna be mad. Oh well. Missing cargo. Well, it is what it is. We still got some rep. We'll sell all this stuff. Pottery is in demand. Alright. We did lose some money on that. We got robbed. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's right. We don't have the. I always forget that Lumen doesn't have that many supplies in it. Beans. All right. I think. Is there a way through the mountains from Fort Viridian? I feel like there is. You guys going the right way? Doesn't look like it. Isn't Valerius the mud town? It is indeed. <laughs> I almost wonder if it is it a good idea to try and get here from the no I think it makes sense to go to Fort Viridian I think you can go through the mountains there and then just go to the quarry and grab supplies and then go to the the hideout afterwards so that's what we're gonna do here let's get some more some muscle one more worker and then I think we're just gonna... Well, we do need to rest, so... Gorgoro, I'm sorry they took your oil, my man. And there's none here, so we'll have to wait till we get back to the city. So we're gonna rest. Let's talk to Elani. I think I have a trapping kit I can give her. I don't have... I do have. but it, So it must not be available yet. That's interesting. So they changed this from like black to red, which is much easier to discern between like pale blue and black. So, so we do have a trap kit to give her. We just uh, need to wait our turn. Uh, yeah, let's just end it, and then grab the last of the supplies they have available. All right, six days worth. We leave the city. And we go this way. And I believe this road goes through the mountains. It looks... Yes, that is the case. Let's move extra. We will camp. Go on past Fort Viridium. That's where I stole Ninia from. Oh, God, thank goodness. Twilight. I've noticed this is also new, too. Where it gives you just kind of a, a a notification of what kind of territory you're in. So we're in Twilight Zero, Regional Twilight One, which affects your movement and visibility. I, and maybe that matters more if you're exploring a new place. Visibility, that is. So, like, how far could you go in any particular direction? Or how far you could see the path in any particular direction? All right, we've reached the quarry. Back into the twilight again. The bone garden. All right, you guys don't have a ton of supplies. We have five days worth, which is not fantastic. You have a lot of ivory here. Oh, that's because you're... Yeah, bones and ivory is what you buy at the Iasian quarry because it's full of undead. All right, the plan is to go out into the desert and see if we can't find the Nosferatis. This is gonna be incredibly boring as I wander around the desert here. I'm going to pause the video and I will pick up with you when I have found where the heck they are. So I will be right back. We found them. I will show you on the map in a second where we are. <laughs> Following the directions provided by the priestess of Baller Call back in Larnak, your scouts come upon a strange and eerie place. They report that in the middle of, s of nowhere, macabre bone totems are placed on barren soil, surrounded by piles of skulls. In the center of this morbid spectacle, a crater-like opening leads beneath the surface. You're about half a mile from it now. It must be where the coven of Nosferatis dwell, Nadir remarks. They certainly haven't tried to conceal their lair very much. Although... 
who would even come here without ev a very good reason? Gather your companions and approach the lair. At least one companion. We can take six people. So Nadir is required. I think we want to take our, our crew that we... We managed to defeat... The last of Kreefta's enemies. Um, yeah, Ren's the odd man out. I wonder... Oh, can we upgrade people? I was wondering... Because we have a boatload of insight from the, the expansion. Shall we... Everybody's a level 3, which is, is good. Let's upgrade... Gorgoro? Dang. We have 17 insight and it takes... Oh, I see. We <laughs> So this was also pointed out. Uh I think it was B Noble that this said this. Thank you for watching so much, B Noble. But they said we should probably talk to our companions at some point. I played like seventy episodes ish of this game, and I barely have talked to any of my people. It's a wonder they hate me. Yeah. So I think the key is and it might be Oh, okay, so Nadir is cool with me. We can uh, upgrade Nadir. You need to get uh, 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 progress your companion's storylines in order for them to trust you enough to level up. So, yeah, I was going to say Ren probably is a good one. Kreefta is as well because we've been helping her. So Elani, not at all because we haven't really made any progress on the worms. Garrick, I just met him, so that kind of makes sense. Gorgoro hates me, <laughs> um, so that also kind of makes sense. And I don't even know what Harvick's mission is, so we should probably talk to those guys. But let's upgrade Nadir. That only takes six insight. Okay, that's not bad at all. What do we want to go for here? Blood magic? Vitality can be used. Not really what I'm looking for. Ooh, Pro prowess 5 would unlock leech which is pretty sick because how much would that take so that would take uh six each i see so let's let's spread it out let's do nadir and krifta to get some some upgrades across the board kind of dark pact is a good one vitality power sorceress is good initiative and power Channeling is pretty solid. Savvy and strong mind. What was it? It was... And regenerate power each turn is really good, too. Almost, like, together they're really solid. Maybe maybe regenerating one power each turn is the way to go. Because prowess... Well, I thought prowess was your... Your level. Unless I'm... Is that prowess 6? Oh, it is. I, I read it backwards. I thought it was prowess 4. All right, that won't be getting touched for a very long time. Savvy, strong-minded. So we do sta savvy, strong-minded, channeling. Pretty good. And she's got five left. Flame Toss is her, like, go-to damage dealer, but she doesn't unlock the next level until level four. So maybe we spread out the rest of it. Tough is a good one. Just get more... Just to get more um, vitality out there. And then maybe just lean into the magic abilities of her. Get more magic sense on the team. Alright. Nadir. And then Kreefta was the other one. So let's go ahead and upgrade her as well. Suppressing shot is her... Or her aim shot is her go-to. And that's not going to be uh, until... Um, level 6 as well. Cover and line of sight penalties are halved. Power, accuracy, lots of resistance. Wasteland Warrior probably would be pretty good. She'd come with armor as well, but it, it, that's a level 5 move. Ranger, Marksman, Bounty Hunter is Vitality, Bleed Resistance, and Evade. Acrobatic I'm not a huge fan of. Like, it's okay, but it, it I don't think it's as beneficial as it could be. I think I'm going to do these two... And then if we get another tough... Ah, we don't have enough for Ranger. But we set ourselves up for more Ranger later. And... We have just one... Do we want to drop it in Alchemy? Yeah, why not? I like healing base chance. Okay, cool. Good job. Everybody's been filled out. Let's go ahead. You <laughs> Sorry for the detour there. 
You approach the hole in the ground as carefully as you can. As you so, as you slowly creep up, creep up to it with your companion, something begins to compel you to stop dead in your tracks. All your other com- comates except for Nadir freeze too. Some sort of confusion overcomes you as if your senses are being dulled. You shake your head, but are, but the bewildering sensation will not cease. Is that the buzzing of flies you hear? From beyond the fog that shrouds your mind, you hear Nadir's voice. Calm your minds. You are the victims of minor sorceress affliction. I know it's kind. Give me a minute and I shall dispel it. Prowess required you have four, thank God. Barely. <laughs> The next thing you perceive is Nadir shouting a final triumphant word of command and suddenly all the world around you comes rushing back. It is as if going from being dead drunk to being stone sober within a second. Not the most pleasant of sensations, but quite effective. Nadir rubs her palms together. There, she says, but you know what this means. The kindly sisters down there definitely know that we're coming. It seems like that cannot be helped, so you press on. Just when you are about to reach the edge of the crater, you hear a growling voices and glimpse movement in the shadows down there. Twisted, deformed humanoid creatures lurch into sight. Ah, such refined servants these witches employ, Nadir says with vitriol raising her staff. The mutated minions move in for the kill. Oh, these guys, these guys aren't too bad, I don't think. None armor? Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's use formation one begin fight. Krifta, I like to focus fire the middle people, and 8 crit is amazing. And then we're not going to use Garrick on this guy since Garrick has, yeah, the, the capability of doing a crazy amount of damage. Gorgoro, do a cleave? Oh, I was not expecting you to miss. Although that guy died. Alright, two down, that's pretty good. Oh, we didn't kill him. He's hiding back here. Uh, in in that case, why don't we go ahead and drop down that the the sigil? Yep, I was gonna say I expect them to move forward. That guy bled to death, so actually that's pretty good. Krifta, who's first up in the order here? I think it's the claw guy, which is this dude here. Damn it! Not what I wanted to see. Oh, he did move back though. So go ahead and focus fire the front guy. He's gonna move up again. Slash. Not too bad, two damage isn't the worst. Reload your gun, my man. And then Nadir, finish this guy off. Well done. That's exactly what we wanted to see. A zero damage I'm totally okay with. Uh, Claw guy is the last guy, and he's, he's no longer with us. All right, everybody. Dogpile this fool. Dang it, Garrick. If you were going to miss at any time, though, that's the fine time to miss. I'm okay with that. Alright, victory achieved. We are going into the cave with the glowing lizard. The aberrant creatures are disposed of, but you are sure this is what... That this is what the Nosferati's first line of defense. Per preparing... For the worst, you descend into the crater and enter a wide tunnel. After a few twists and turns, you emerge inside a natural cave. It might easily be one of the most horrendous places you've ever set foot in. A dull reddish light Im illuminates the cavern, emanating from nowhere specific and casting more shadows than it chases away. Meticulously stacked bones are omnipresent along the walls, and large segments are covered by what appears to be carpets of sewn-together flayed skin. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On the floor, there is an intricate system of small canals, and you can tell by the Swedish metallic spell what sort of fluid they carried. Blood. As your eyes followed them, you find the source. At the far end of the hall, defiled corpses are chained to torture racks. The kindly sisters have been busy, Nadir says with only a hint of disdain. I do not care for this place. I think I hear chanting from yonder. The sorcerer is right. You can hear it too. You press on, passing a few side caves to eventually enter a corridor where the chanting grows stronger. After progressing along it for a minute or so, you reach a chamber on the right and carefully spy around the corner. Beyond is a huge cavern. The first thing you survey is an enormous statue fused with bones from from the resemblance of some unspeakable... Oh, in the resemblance of some unspeakable horned demonic entity, under which is a strange altar covered in leather. Red flamed braziers spitting forth sulfurous fumes stand around a coven of scantily clad women who kneel upon the altar, hissing 
Oh, but before the altar, hissing and moaning. Now there's a demon summoning ritual if I've ever seen one, Nadir whispers. We must act quickly. Before you could stop her, she steps into the archway, preparing a spell to attack. Some of the Nosferatis stop their chanting and jump to their feet. Cursing, you draw your weapons. Then you realize that what has been hiding outside the brazier's circle of light. Grotesque golems of bone and half-mad mutants appear to protect their mistresses and now lunge in action. You fight them in the corridor. All right. This is very similar to what we fought in the tunnel. Away we go. So the sisters are priority number one for sure. Go ahead and stun this one. Because they can heal things. You don't have any armor, which is surprising. So go ahead and just poke this guy, I guess. Nadir, fire, dang it. Fire a fireball back there. Them being at the back is rough because they get some cover from hiding behind these big dudes. Let's have the melee guys. Yeah, the seduction kind of blows. There's not a lot we can do about it. Bone hammer! Oh, that one sucked. Five damage is not what we wanted to see there. We'll just have Harvick keep slashing that fool. A crit is exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, Elani, go ahead and stun the other lady. Garrick, try again. Stab. Much better. And now, please burn her to death. <sighs> She's still alive. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Mm, they're slowly going to wear down my front line here. Which is not good. Go ahead and... Oh, she bled to death. Great. Or burned to death. Something happened to her. <laughs> Something bad, which is great for me. Um, Let's go ahead and get rid of this bone go lord. She's still stunned for this round and we can fire at her with some better people. Good job, Elani. Harvik, go ahead and bleed the guy in front of you. He's going to hit you back. Oh, not great. We can pick him up though and we will do so. Go ahead. Garrick, go ahead. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Alright, only two. Elani's up we cannot get to the sorceress at the back. She's tapped me for a little bit and healed herself. Krifta, great shot. Not quite enough, though. Uh, Gorgoro, just the man in front is all we can ask for. We're going to have Harvik throw a dagger and rotate. Oops. And then jump to the back. Ah, man, she's so crafty. Reload. The crit for two isn't the worst thing in the world. Yes, thank you for finally ending her. A, a one, not terrible. All right, Gorgoro. Seven, fantastic. Burn this guy to death, thank you. He's no longer a problem. Mantis jump, number four. Put him in the in the line of fire, unfortunately. Uh, but Garrick, yes. Garrick, when the, the moment is right, you did come through for us. No more damage was sustained. The sisters and their abominations succumb to your attacks. When the last of them falls, Nadir see sets fire to their corpses with a snap of her fingers. Man, Nadir is badass. Metal as hell. They're so fond of flames. Let them burn, the sorceress comments coldly. She seems confident as ever, ready to walk into the sanctum and attack the rest of them. But suddenly her haughty expression changes. Her face distorts and she bends over, clutching her chest. She's got a chest burster. Ah, I've seen Alien. You leap to her side, but by the time you examine her, she has composed herself. The necklace, she gasps. It was the necklace. I can feel it. It's calling to me. So close, yet almost completely beyond my reach. I believe, I believe the Nosferatis are using it as a focus to commune with a demon. The same one that is responsible for my curse. We must stop them right now. She gazes at, she raises her gaze at you. If you have ever seen Nadir vulnerable and pitiful, it is now. Listen, Pagris, she pants. If the sisters succeed, my soul is forfeit. I know that for sure. Nothing in the world compels you to come with me. And I will not lie to you. If you do, it might be your end. I am not someone who begs, but ask. I will. Please, help me. Don't let this be my end. Not like this. Please? Accompany Nadir into the sanctum, even if it might cost you dearly. Abandon her. I'm out. I've done so much work, but I'm out of here. The <laughs> no, we will help her. 
The moment when Nadir allowed herself to appear timid is gone. She is her old confident self again, but perhaps for a split second, there was a glint of gratitude in her eyes. Right, let's deal with those harlots and whatever they manage to conjure with those second-rate skills of theirs. Your party enters the large cavern. You can now make out the shrine at the far end of the inner sanctum. It writhes and moans. You realize with horror that what you thought is leather is in fact an altar stitched together from somehow still living parts of mutilated people. Watering eyes blink at you, begging wordlessly for release. Desecrated lips howl in torment, severed and randomly reattached limbs thrash around in pure agony. In front of this sacrilegious shrine, surrounded by a coven of her sisters, a witch stands, naked but for the blood that covers her skin. She is screaming in ecstasy as she holds something up. Nadir gasps for air. The necklace at last! At the, la at the same moment, the air in front of the Nosferatis tear... Tear, which tears asunder, revealing a dark red portal hanging above the floor. A terrible clawed finger appears in the opening, then another one, probing and widening it with every second that passes by. Those fingers are so huge, they surely be belong to something Cyclopean. This is the time, Nadir hisses and lunges forward. The remaining witches shriek, but dare not forsake the ritual. As an answer to their call for help, fiery shapes slip through the cleft between the worlds and materialize into lesser demons. The fiends begin to move forward, hungering for your soul. All the while, the gargantuan hand keeps clawing away at the fissure, while the naked witch mother and her sisters chant on, You might have been not more than you can chew! Holy, what is this man? Oh, these got tiny little demon people. We fought demons before. Quarren is his name. Our front line is very beat up, though. So, I'm gonna do something a little tricky here. I'm gonna put Garrick in the front for now. And I'm gonna put Kreefta in the front for now. Just to keep these two alive for the moment. So they can at least get a an attack or two off. Does he have armor? None. None armor, I'm surprised. This guy does have armor, so ideally we'd like to get Gorgoro to be able to hit him, but his vitality is pretty low too. Give me a good initiative roll. Alright, Kreefta goes first. Go ahead, let's try and take out the little guys first. That one. If we can. Uh, go ahead and jump forward, my man. Damn it! That's not what we wanted to see, but he did jump back. Oh, that's right, they can fire fire tongues though. Mangling claws, he, he attacks twice. Be prepared for that. The little these little guys are actually really dangerous because they go multiple times in initiative. So good job, Gorgoro, getting rid of that one. Good miss. Elani, can we stun the big bad boy? Or maybe perhaps this guy? I think it's more important to stun that guy. I've been burned, but if anybody can take it, it's my wizard who hasn't taken any damage yet. Oh, Garrick, I went for the front row guy because I thought it'd be easier for you to hit. <laughs> uh, let's use the the uh, domination to make it harder for him to hit. And then let's hope we can weather some of these attacks. Alright, that was a little rough. Alright, Kreefta, I need you to land some of these attacks, my girl. Right, that was a good hit. Elani's up. Hold that man in place. Garrick, reload. That's honestly how I should probably be be combining my abilities here. Is to lock people in place with Elani and then shoot them with Garrick. Okay, break his armor. Burn in my front line. Ooh, thank god she's barely standing. <laughs> Alright, let's get a bleed off on this guy. Good damage. Oh, she's probably down. Yep. And Garrick, that's fine. Another stab. Duck. Alright, burn the person on the ground. Oh, good luck. Oh, Harvick's down too. When did that happen? Alright, you're dead. Good dodge, team. Ooh, he's beating up the people on the ground. There he goes. Alright, that's fine. Garrick. Good shot. Nadir. Ah, the, 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 we need to summon a demon. Our demon buddy. Flamulus is the way to go. Or maybe it's uh, this thing, just to bother him. It does little monkey yells. Alright, Garrick's getting the pants kicked off him. Dominate this dude again. Make it harder for him to hit. Go ahead and smack him again. Gorgoro, finish this little dude off. Well done. Garrick, you gotta reload. 
Kreefta. This little bastard is hiding behind the boss, so kill the boss. <laughs> oh man, they really like shooting fire at, or at... Oh man, they hate Garrick. That sucks because uh, Garrick's gun was reloaded, but... Oh, come on, you guys. Missing is not what we want to do here. This little bastard's hard to hit. All right. Somehow Gorgoro is still standing. Absolutely astounding. Dominate this fool. <laughs> now he's missing. Burn him. I uh, was figured that would happen. This guy absolutely hates dwarves. Now you hit him. Good job. Hell yeah! There's probably more battles to come, which would be really bad for me, but I hope that was the last of it. One by one, the demonic defenders of the portal turn to ash. Through the rift in reality, the last of their fiery souls are sucked back, howling into the abyss where they came, whence they came, conflagrating their misguided Nosferati's worshippers, except for the witch mother. Her sisters are unable to move and burn up alive. When the last of those is but pile of ash, the the crack in the air begins to diminish. Yet still, the witch mother chants on until the demonic paw that tried to make its way through reaches out and grabs her. The sister superior screams, perhaps realizing what she has unleashed upon herself as she is dragged into the closing portal and disappears into the redness beyond. There's an audible metallic sound as if something fell to the ground and then the crack closes for good the red lights disappear and the sanctum falls silent only a heavy scent of sulfur lingers still nadir rushes to the altar of flesh without wasting any time the sorceress drops to her knees and starts searching through the ashes frantically. After a few seconds, she screams in triumph. You've never seen her in such an exalted state. She holds up a thin silvery necklace to which a medallion engraved with curious runes is attached. It is entirely covered in blood. Finally, Nadir laughs almost hysterically, shaking the trinket at you. After all this time, I got it back! Then she comp composes herself and stands up. Those Nosferatis should not have dabbled in arcane arts. They are unfit to comprehend. You ask her if she has any idea what the sisters were up to. From what I've seen here, the sorceress says, I surmise that the necklace is somehow tied to a powerful demon lord, one that the Nosferatis attempted to reach out to using the artifact before our very eyes. I believe that they did it because they knew we were coming and panicked. I'm afraid that this connection to the demon lord works both ways, which explains that the constant assaults that I, forgive me, we, had to endure. And now that the necklace is in my possession again, the attacks might grow even worse. You see her sour, your sour expression because she adds hastily, We must return to Incanus and Avernum post-haste. He's, he's the only one I know of who can shed light on the trinket's exact nature and finally break the curse, releasing us from its grip. This this quest line is never ending. That sounds like a plan. You ask Nadir to wait a few moments until you search the site of Carnage for any valuables, and then go back the way you entered the Nosferati's lair. Soon you find yourself above ground where the Comitatus awaits you. It is high time to leave this place. Did we get any supplies? I don't think so. <laughs> we're very low on supplies. At, at least we're not very far from the Iossian Quarry. So, if you're looking for the Nosferati's hideout, I don't know if it changes each... Like, for each person, but this is where I found it, so take a screenshot, there you go. Um, we're gonna end the episode there, it's already been a little long, so we're gonna head back to the Iossian Quarry, try to heal up, bef and, uh, we might go deal with the rest of Nadir's questline then, before tackling Kreefta's thing, because I think that'll be a pretty tough fight, and we need to let our companions uh, heal up. So, if you guys enjoyed the ep episode- What? You guys lost loyalty? What the hell? Anyway. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more Vagris the Riven Realms or my other playthroughs going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.